so here we are at the Lily Patch in Somerville, Georgia with my friend Keisha. Hello. Now Keisha is very special to us and our family. Um, I think that I have actually mentioned how our son is taking um, American Sign Language and he actually was able to get the interpreter's patch for um, for Boy Scouts of America. He just got his Eagle Scout Which is not really too long cool ago. really and unique. Not a lot of people have that patch. Yes, and Keisha played a big part in that in the fact that she's the one who's been teaching him ASL for the past three years. So we have become really good friends and she has this amazing store up here in Somerville. Um, it took me like an hour to get here. So, but it's absolutely beautiful and I can't wait to show it all to you and um, everything that she has to offer here um, is vendor based and um, so there's a lot of different people who sell their stuff here in the store lots of different talents really fun to see so many different unique ideas that people have yes and when she told me that she had just opened a store i had absolutely no idea that this was what i was going to be walking into you guys are going to love it and if you are here ever in this area then you definitely need to look up the lily patch and check out Keisha's store and um, come and pay her a visit. from April's farm. She's my business partner. She actually went out, milked her goats, and turned it into soap. Isn't that awesome? Whoa! <laughs> and then that some of awesome. them are shea butter, so those uh, the shea butter ones are made with that instead of milk from a goat, but it dep depends on what kind of finish you want. The goat's more of a squeaky finish, where the shea butter is more of a silky finish. Have these fun bags to put them in. You can exfoliate while you are in the shower, or you could just use them as a cute bag for gifts. Um, this is really cool. This is a deodorant, and it's made from baking soda, sweet almond oil, shea butter, and lavender, and arrowroot. And for those that don't want the commercial deodorants, this works really well. You can put it on with a little paddle, or you can put it on with your fingers if you want. But it's really great alternative natural. Got some candles that are handmade and bath salts that are put together there with some fun scents. 
One of the fun things we do is diaper cakes. That's what you'll see right there. So people pre-order those according to how many tiers you want, according to what size diapers you want. So you can kind of custom them for your relatives. This is a, a vendor. She makes lots of cute things. Okay, she has these pillowcases for your kids. Just something special going off to camp, I like to think of, or special holidays. And then um, these are heart-shaped hot pads. This is my favorite. This is my favorite thing in the whole store. <laughs> you put this on your bowl before you put it in the microwave. And so then it doesn't burn your hands when you take it out. It's washable if you get something on it, but it also works in the opposite. If you put your ice cream in it and you don't want to freeze your hands, it also protects your hands from cold. And there's all these fun patterns. There's fun ones for kids. There's fun ones, just all kinds of patterns for everybody. Something for everyone to like there. And these are custom boards, that, uh, custom cutting boards that one of our vendors makes. She's just started putting this epoxy on them and making them look really special. So then you have a, you know, you never know what to do with your cutting boards. You just kind of stuff them in drawers and stuck them in cabinets. This is fun to be able to sit out and it'd be pretty when you're not using it. This is award winning honey. And I can tell you, it is some of the best honey I've ever had. It's so good. It's like, it, the taste is wonderful, but the texture is wonderful. It really, it, it's runny and just delicious. This up here is a Berry College student. So if you'd like to support a student, she hand makes these little bead earrings. Isn't that beautiful? That's so talented. This is a local um, signing friend. She is an interpreter and she's been a para at the deaf school. And she puts together this jewelry. She's got some beautiful milk black on there. These are Mr. Pickle products. Uh, Kanisha makes these. It's just a couple different flavors, a couple different sizes that she began making for her little puppy back there. There's her cute little dog. And these are wonderful. There's even samples if you bring your dog in. You can see which one he likes before you buy one. <laughs> There's some fun crocheted items. She does some beautiful things for each holiday. There's lots of unique plaques and things that you, you just don't see everywhere on the walls. This area here with the cards is made by a really sweet lady. She has a disability and her mother helps her put together these cards to make money. And so they, they put these together by hand. And there's something for just about every holiday in there and really sweet. The, the book that's next to these is full of just funny stories. I think it was actually a member of their family, like a grandfather that said all these fun things and they wrote them down in the book. Here, these are some fun um, t-shirts and baby blankets, baby onesies. And the fun thing about all the t-shirt sections is that all the vendors can custom make something. So if you see a size that you don't, that isn't there that you'd like to have, they can ship that to you or you could come back and see this again and pick it up. This is, we try to go with the, the older candy that I guess is more vintage candy that some of us in our 40s, 50s, 60s remember growing up with. You know, the, the paddle things, the jacks and pickup sticks. And over here you'll see barrel monkeys and slingshots, harmonicas, you know, tootsie rolls and slinkies, things that, you know. And then there are a few, a little bit more modern things that kids like today, airplanes, marbles, fun stuff. <laughs> This is a wall of wreaths. This is a, a vendor that makes these at home with her mother and brings these in. <laughs> and this is just our t-shirt and sweatshirt and hoodie section. These ladies do a great job. Again, if there's something that you see that you want in a certain size, they 
can custom that for you and even you know make things that you want them to say and there's some fun hot pads these are local but i'm sure if you had a town or a city or a picture that you wanted to do here's the the rome arches that were kind of known for passing by out here she does these uh for the high schools too or for teacher gifts lanyards so this is your country western side these are handmade these are resale and they're so fun and so unique everything from shoes the wallets earrings purse you can get decked out <laughs> And these guys make all kinds of delicious flavors. They're called Rosemary Knoll, and they do everything from pistachios to almonds, walnuts, pecans, peanuts, all kinds of different nuts, but the flavors are fantastic. Just every bite is really tasty. They also uh, can some tomatoes and different flavors and are coming in with, I think, cheeses soon? She's famous for her metal signs. People who collect metal signs really like to do her things. She has some fun stickers and just different different things, from magnets to beads to look through and candles. It's lots of different items put together. So this section is a homeschooling mom. Um, the signing friend was a homeschooling mom, and this is a homeschooling mom. She makes t-shirts. She also makes tumblers. She has these cute little crayon kits and Play-Doh kits that she makes for kids, kind of entertain them at, the, at appointments or whatever. And to your left here, these, these go like hotcakes. She makes Freshies. And I, don't know, I don't know if you're familiar with Freshies, mm -hmm. but they're really popular. People are putting, the younger girls, they're putting them in their cars and the heat warms them up and they make a delicious scent a smell in the car. There's anything from like a spearmint smell to the a Coca-Cola smell or a or more of a uh, there's like some fun guy smells too that smell really yummy. You got Johnny Depp there. I'm sure that one smells yummy. <laughs> These are um, handcrafted wood pieces. They have that epoxy made with them where the cutting boards had epoxy on them. These are created with epoxy. And they're just very unique, very precious, nice pieces that you just don't get to see that kind of stuff just everywhere. That's fun. Here in this section, this is one of my favorite like redos. She will uh, get potentially older or ready to throw out items and just give them new life and love them in a whole different way. They are so beautiful. And then she has just some gorgeous pieces that she sits with them and makes such a fun area she made these little um he has risen and this is the tomb and it's a little puzzle that comes in these little kits already put together <laughs> this is another really fun idea that she has is she takes these pieces these wooden or log pieces and she drills them out and puts bird food in them and then she has these refiller to go inside them so a really fun um, bird feeder idea or suet. And then this vendor, she does a lot of uh, repainting older items and bringing new life to them as well and finding items and just putting things on them and making them look fresh and new again. And she'll also do these cutting board things on the side. She also does fresh, she, she does more of a sparkly variety and she has all these different flavors. That's what I really love. She has all these different flavors that you can sniff them first and decide what you want your car to smell like and then she'll custom make you one. But these I'm really proud of. This is my uncle. He handcrafted these. Um, there's oak and there's maple, there's a little duck. <laughs> he always has a couple of trays in here. So there's a couple of them around the store. 
This is a gentleman who actually does a lot of work in Bug and Buckhead, actually making tree houses that people go and stay in and vacation for like Airbnbs and such like that. And he made these custom bird houses for people who might have like a sunroom that they want a nice piece in. So this is a display, but it's also one that can be purchased, but it's an example of what he can make to potentially go in a sunroom or be a, a piece that you talk about in your home. Um, he makes some, he doesn't make really tiny ones that you put in your backyard much. He mostly makes nice ones that you would, more of a talking piece than, they are functional though.